So to finish this off, we're going to adjust the materials and the lighting just to make the, the render work. Document, creative imaging, photo render settings. I've also got a setting on my toolbar to get to this more quickly. Uh, we only really want to use lamps and we've just reduced the file size down to 900 by 500 pixels just so it fits on the page and adjusted the background accordingly so you now see that the magnification is 50%. One thing that's really worth pointing out is we want our horizon line to be in the middle of our screen. If that's what we're doing on our view, which means we're looking horizontally, we want to make sure that our background is doing the same thing, otherwise it looks distorted and, and not realistic. Again, the, I'm showing you the long way just so you know where to find it. Document, creative imaging, photo render, projection. And later on I'll show you how to customize a toolbar so we can just do it more quickly. And of course we can also right click photo render projection. Because this file isn't very large and it's not full of a lot of objects and high quality materials, we see that it renders quite fast. The light's not fantastic, uh, it's a little bit jittery but it's a, it's a great representation for what we're talking about at the moment. And that's the finished result. And as you can see, that didn't take all that long to create.